Hey, my students and followers out there on the internet, I'm Dan the Wolfman. I'm going to show you 14 knee drill for the different angle drills like I did with the elbows. This is specifically good for MMA. Some are good for combatives, but this is an MMA drill. There's a couple I wouldn't do on the street, but in like K1, you've seen guys do the flying Dutchman style, the tall guys. I'll show you what that means in a minute. For knee drill, you can do this with pads, okay? You can do this on the back. You can do this. This teaches you knee angles on the ground, just like the elbow drill. You go left knee, 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 right knee. When you throw a knee, of course, keep your heel to your butt, point the knee straight and go direct. One, two, that's two. For my second knee, I skip to the right, right foot replaces left foot. This is open the door, close the door, okay? You don't want to hit with the whole side of your leg. You want to go ball in. When I'm tight in the clinch, a lot of times here against the ropes, I use this one, a skip up close here knee to the liver. Okay, I don't do the one on the right side too much because there's no liver over there, but sometimes from here, number three, you replace the right foot with the left foot, open the door, close the door, here. Okay, so that's four. From four, I screw to the side, here and I throw um, horizontally like a round kick, straight in. On the street, of course, there we could go into a right cross. I usually want to put myself that off balance, but for MMA it's important to know you might slip a punch, you might just lean back from overhand or something and go straight in. Also, sometimes round kicks end up becoming these, like Yuki Kondo knocking out a guy I fought, knocking out Solo Barrow, great jiu-jitsu guy that I've trained with, because the knee happened to catch the temple. So this is five, scoot to the other side, this is six, okay? From here, from the vertical knee, you underhook the arm and neck. So you put like a chicken wing or a hammer lock on the arm and the shoulder and the elbow. Lock him down here. He's going to be trying to get back up, so give me this little pressure. I'm going to lock my arm out and I'm going to go on the top of the head and knee him in the face. Great position to get to and it's actually an easy position to get to. I'll show that in another video. Underhook the arm. Here. Strong. Lock that down. Knee the face. Okay, then we're going to recenter up like we're in a plum punch or something. When a guy drives in you, he's pushing you back to the cage or the ropes, you do a skip up knee. You put a knee to your own chest, a lot of times you'll catch his chin at this close quarters, but only with driving in, in energy. So he drives in, right skip up knee, left skip up knee, just to practice. From there, then I'm gonna do jump right knee. Then I'm gonna do jump left knee, okay? From there, again, I'm not saying, I don't really use these, but there's some K1 grades that have. You go and jump up side knees. Can you see? Three. You go double hand from plum to here, jump up side right knee. Double hand to pull, I'll pull on the side of the head, jump up left knee. From there, we center. Um, you then do double jump knee, right left, double jump knee, left right. Of course, I'm just hitting his body. Those double jump knees would be to the chin. Okay, whether from outside, you're practicing them from outside, like Jose Aldo, striker versus grappler, or even from the clinch sometimes. We're, so, we're in so tight, grab my neck and stuff. We're in so tight, I can't knee his chin. Maybe the skip of knee is not happening because he doesn't give me enough energy. But if I go double jump, the velocity of one knee coming up gets my other knee higher. Okay, so one knee coming up gets the other knee higher and might get his chin. Okay, so just get a slightly, maybe just different angle on this. Okay, just right there. So here, number one. Boom, knee straight in. Two, knee straight in. Three, skip to the side. Side, close the gate, slam the gate shut, slam the door shut. Liberty. Pop to the other side, open it, close it. That's four. From four, come to this position, vertical, side knee. Step out. Vertical, side knee. Underhook, head control. Okay, very important position for MMA. The guy's got to start getting to. Here on top of his head, locked out. Knee the face right away. Weave under. Fast turn, I'm at 90 degrees. Knee the face. Come to center. He's driving into me. Skip up right knee. He's driving into me. Skip up left knee. From there, I work my right jump knee. Work my left jump knee. From there, I work jump up high right knee. To the side. From there, change my hand position. Jump up left knee. To this side. From there, double jump knee. A bump, double jump knee, bump, bump. Okay? So I'm gonna show that one more time. Come on, uh, right angle this thing. Okay? Ready, so you're in the clinch or outside. You can practice this inside like this with the body. Practice it outside with tie pads. Practice it on the heavy bag, tie pads. Heavy bag on the ground, ground and pump.
Okay. So maybe I got my plum or I'm wrestling for different positions. You throw the lead left knee. Okay? One. Right knee. Two. Skip up. Left side knee. Three. Skip up right knee. Four. Five. Six. Here. Seven to the face. Eight to the face. Nine. We center. He's, he's driving into me. This guy's giving me pressure. Skip up. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Jump right knee. Whoa. Twelve. Jump left knee. Now side knee. Side knee. Over here. Up. Bam. Jump flying knee. I'm not ready. That one probably doesn't look better. Okay, but look at the Flying Dutchman and some other guys in here want to do this. Cool. Melvin Manhoff. Okay, so, uh, some of the Holland kickboxers. Side knee, side knee, flying side knee. Then double jump. Right, left. Double jump. Left, right. Okay, now that was just the body. But again, on the double jumps, of course, you're going for the chin. You can hit both with the chin. You can be getting pressured back in a tight palm. Bam, bam. Okay. So, you know, we're wrestling. Sometimes just leave it with the front knee. I always used to think always throw the back because it has more power. I'm starting to change my philosophy on that. Because I've seen guys like BJ Penn use that front knee. My Sistema instructor uses knee very straight in. And uh, also the uh, the British fighter, uh, UFC fighter, uses that, that lead left knee. So we're here, left, right, moving around. We're in take position, sometimes over under, something like this, we're against the cage, we're against the face. Boom, here, I use this one. Boom. Maybe I get off to the side, bam! Bang him here, throw a little right cross. I get off the other side, bang! Underhook here, knee the face. We're always looking for that position. Very strong position, always looking for it. Knee the face, man. Okay, here, he's driving in, pushing in. Push, he's pushing in, pushing in, pushing in, bam! I scoop back with the energy. Drive into me, drive into me. Bam! I put that knee up to the chin. Beautiful knockout, he'll fall through the ropes. Like Rampage vs. Vanderlei style, he'll go forward with it. Okay? From, from that knee, flying right knee, boom. Here. Space, flying left knee. Here. Jump up right knee, set. Jump up left knee, set. Okay, and then double jump me. Ba bam! Double left knee. Ba bam! Okay? It's good. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. All my combatives and MMA students out there. Thank you.